On the way to the coffin workshop is a flying machine cobbled together by Marcus Daly's son out of coffin parts. There's nothing creepy about this to me because I'm working in a wood shop and doing something out of love for people who I want to honor. And then my kids are regularly barging in here. There's laughter. Death is everyday life for the dailies. When they hear that I build coffins, they just find it strange. Marcus creates biodegradable wooden caskets. Each takes about 20 hours. It's kind of an older European, sort of old world way of doing it. This boat builder slowly, almost involuntarily, became a coffin maker. Not everybody wants to pay ten or $20,000 for a 12-foot boat. In fact, nobody I knew wanted to pay that for a 12-foot boat. <laughs> so the boat business was not booming. Then, after having two beautiful kids, he and his wife lost their third to a miscarriage. We had been preparing for this baby, you know, and talking to her belly. And so we lost the baby. We had a strong desire to respond in some way. The first coffin this carpenter built was for his own child. That felt like good work, doing that for our baby. Then he watched Pope John Paul II's funeral on TV. He had a simple wooden coffin, and it was just sitting there, a profound and honest statement about naked we come into this world and naked we go out of it. After about five or six years of contemplation, he changed the course of his life. He moved out here to build simple wooden boats for people. What if we build a different kind of wooden vessel for a different journey? His journey got a jolt just months ago. I was running one of these boards through and something must have caught and just all of a sudden, I kind of looked down stunned. He severed two fingers and half his thumb with a table saw. I work with my hands. How am I going to provide for my family? A family of eight kids, seven pictured here just after the accident. His middle finger was reattached. I don't recommend it, but there's been more good in it than bad. There's been blessings of friends who have stepped up. A person I didn't know just gave me $4,500 for a safer table saw. Marcus says his accident nudged him to think even more about what he does, who he is, who we are. My eyes have adjusted to the darkness, so I see more light. 